Hello everyone. My name is Ko. My name is Radna. We are May. Today we're going to have one guest from Indonesia, Ratna. Could you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Professor Ratna. I came from Chemistry Department, Indonesia University of Education. Yes. Topic I'm going to talk about today mm -hmm. after bonding process mm -hmm. is interatomic distance. Ah, interatomic distance. I think this is very important and very right. interesting for my student and also for your student. Right. Mm -hmm. Ah, interatomic distance. So, ah. what about the exact definition uh -huh. of inter in yeah. comparison to intra? Yeah. I think inter is between, between uh, everything, between atom, between molecule, between particle, and it intra is within or inside uh, atom or molecule or others. Mm -hmm. Yes. Still, even if you just explain mm -hmm. in perfect way and then still ambiguous. Mm -hmm. That's why let me introduce two different concepts in fracture mechanics. Yeah. The For first this? one is inter uh -huh. granular. Yeah, intergranular fracture. Fracture. Ah, uh, Professor, what is granular? Yes. Granular from grain. Mm. So grain. yeah. The grain mm -hmm. is the units mm -hmm. of the group of atoms mm -hmm. having the same orientation. Mm -hmm. So it's very crucial in material science engineering yeah, because yeah, yeah. it affects mechanical, physical or chemical properties. Ah yeah, yeah. So intergranular fracture is the fracture between grain and grain. Grain A, grain B between uh, between grain and grain, fracture between grain A and grain B. And maybe you have intra granular fracture. fracture? Yes. Ah. Uh, intra granular fracture is the fracture inside or within a grain. It is a big grain and fracture like this, it is intra granular fracture. Right, ah. that's true. So that's why and then here and then I want to give two different atoms mm -hmm. and then this atom connected by spring yes mm -hmm. imaginary spring did you see mm -hmm. this spring before yeah oh really oh you no. must have <laughs> half your it's the imaginary one you cannot see that and then spring between ball to ball <laughs> uh, not the you are very embarrassing <laughs> Okay, by Einstein, mm -hmm. two atom yeah. connect by imaginary spring. Yeah, of course. So one atom is fixed one, mm -hmm. the other one move in this way, move oh. in this way. Ah. So we can formulate, mm -hmm. you can describe and mm -hmm. these two different forces ah. acting on two force. different atom. Yeah, y axis is force, force and x axis. Distance. Distance. Okay. So it should be the nano scale, mm -hmm. nanometers. Mm -hmm. So, so one. The, can you describe a two force between the atoms and then mm -hmm. attractive, attractive, and reverse, reverse force. Yeah. And then. So attractive, okay, force, attractive. Mm -hmm. It should be the distance square. Mm -hmm. in arbitrary one A. Mm. So curve should be just like this. Yeah. So this also defines as Columbic force. Yeah, Columbic force. Okay. So you must be Yeah, A yeah. or C. Yeah. It doesn't matter it's time yeah. method. Another force mm -hmm. it should be the first force. Yeah. The first force should be just like that. Mm -hmm. X, sometimes this one, 8 mm -hmm. or 9, mm -hmm. higher than this, this chromic force, okay. and then B. And then direction will be different, mm -hmm. and we just give us minus value. And then. Yes. Because of these high numbers, mm -hmm. this law 
very stiff. Mm. Significant mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And then here we must find the area where the net force mm -hmm. should be zero. Mm. You must be. Oh. Yeah, I can find mm. this one. Then here, here. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? This is the same. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's not same. But Plus it's, and minus. Yeah. Minus. Assuming this one is same, same yeah, so that's why net force should be zero here and then. Yeah. Then what about this area? And then the first force is higher than mm -hmm. attractive force. Mm. That's why the net force should be just like ah. increase and then decrease yes, again. Yes, Yes. Sometimes our force transform into energy. Mm. With respect to distance, yeah. how can you do this one and then? Mm -hmm. Energy, yeah. it's the sum it's... of force and distance, mm -hmm. right? You know, vice versa, vice mm -hmm. versa, and then force can formulate d e and then d x, okay, correct. Mm -hmm. just like this and then. Yeah, okay. So using these equations. Mm -hmm. And then we can draw this graph mm -hmm. once again where the y axis energy, x axis the main constant. Ah, yeah. Nanometer. Mm -hmm. Nanometers. Mm -hmm. What about this part and then? There's no force. It's mm -hmm. really equilibrium. Yeah. So that's how we can guess energy should be lowest. The lowest one. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. It should be the positive, it should be zero, it should be negative. Here, yeah. I want to give some negative value. Yeah. And then, this one here. Mm -hmm. And the final result, just like this, mm -hmm. and increase again. Yeah. But look, so energy mm -hmm. differentiated by the x distance, mm -hmm. it should be the f. Yeah. So this part, slope, is a negative value. Mm -hmm. That's why force is negative. Mm -hmm. And then this local minimum, and then slope should be zero. Mm -hmm. That's why force mm -hmm. should be zero. zero. What about this part and then? A slope increase positive, positive value. Yeah. That's why f should be positive. positive. That's why then it makes sense mm -hmm. uh, to understand force and energy at the same time together. Yes. So this is very interesting. It this looks like yeah. This looks like mm -hmm. some spring and well. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's why we just say this is a well. Well. Mm. What kind of well is energy? So energy mm -hmm. and potential energy. Potential energy. Potential well. Mm. So simply we say E P W. Mm. E P W is very very important concept. Why? Yes. From this concept we can draw basic properties such as lasting modulus. Mm. Mm -hmm. So next video clip as a kind of the next video clip and then I want to introduce how can we derive mm. lasting modulus from energy potential. Oh, I think this is very interesting. Thank I, you. I can't wait to see this video. <laughs> okay, see you. I see you.